What's up guys, the Tim Hurlbutt with Ambiguous Adventures and we have been working on our tiny home resort, the Smoke Jumper, and I am privileged and honored to have Corey Ginther from Drop Structures. Good to see you again, down. buddy. Check it out, yeah. Thanks absolutely. so much for having us. Super stoked, super stoked. So for those of you that don't know or haven't been watching our, our series, we started this about a year ago. We flew up to Drop Structures and actually, <laughs> Look looks at like we've got our videographer, Alex. I don't think the camera knows, but this is incredible. This is Alex Gasway. She hello, has hello. been our video and editor and all things everything since what about a year ago? Yeah, yeah, putting it together. So you flew up with so us. You've been doing all this. Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah, let's see it. Grab a camera. It? I'd love it. Grab a camera. Let's go. All right. Well, yeah, this is this is what it is. It That's just feels got. peaceful and relaxed just looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the sun starts to set like oh. this, it's just awesome. We've got the barbecue pits. We've got seven of your units, including the ADA, yep. which was super oh, happy. Really we got good. the ramp, the ADA accessible unit, which gave it a little more space over there just mm -hmm. to get in and out. But before we do the reveal on what we've done inside your awesome structure, why don't we go inside and we'll just kind of take it from the top. I would yeah? love to see that. Awesome. So, so this was a building that you weren't sure what you were going to do with, correct? Yeah, exactly. So this was a building that we knew nothing about until the old owner told us that it was a smoke jumper building. Oh, right. And I got to be honest with you, I didn't even know 100% what that meant. Until <laughs> Sounds he, cool. Right? <laughs> until he explained to us that the smoke jumpers, who are firefighters, they go where the cars and trucks can't go and they literally parachute in to fire, oh. you know, where there's massive fires and they're the first troops on the ground, basically. Wow. So this old building that we're going to walk into that still needs some work. Thank you. Uh, thank you. It still needs some work is basically uh, what this building was. And we're just super stoked that we kind of have the opportunity to preserve it. Yeah, it. have the and history. This has turned into the warehouse, okay. actually. Yeah, fair enough. And it's shipping and receiving literally every day. <laughs> Once your structures came in and just understanding what we could do and not do, we decided to make this a common area laundry room. Love it. So basically, Lynn's designed this to be a coffee bar. So I'm going to show you right here where all these outlets are. Mm -hmm. So this here will all be a coffee bar with different coffee products. And there's a local coffee shop that brings their local grounds over and they'll be serving up their stuff in the That's morning fantastic. and just giving people a, a second place to kind of hang out. You can see here from the wallpaper, Lynn's kind of doing some colorful decorating yeah. just to make it not look like a boring everyday right. laundry room, right? <laughs> um, we're gonna have two stackables right behind you here for mm -hmm. our guests. And then behind you in here will be where our people are able to do their own laundry. So- Oh, great, a little you know, private area. Seven houses, you know, seven yeah, beds. Yeah, a lot of laundry. Know, we're definitely gonna need to use the laundry. Yeah. Right. And let's go kind of check out, uh, you know, well, how we placed your tiny yes. homes. And I can't wait to see inside. What we had to do on just like, it's only an acre and a half and we really only had an acre of space to really put these on. Mm -hmm. So it took some real uh, strategy to kind of figure out how to put them together. Basically this side we set up for the tiny homes. Mm -hmm. and then we've got this little creek that runs through here and then Basically, what we're gonna do is turn this into kind of a recreational area. We still got about a quarter acre back oh, here. Oh yeah. So you got the wildlife cruising around back here. <laughs> we're gonna set up hot tubs. So just kind of imagine like hot uh, tubs with a little privacy fence, a little bridge over the creek. Very cool. You know, you have snow falling. Uh, you know, so like I said, we're kind of looking forward to this. Yeah. This would be like a next year project? Or it may be this winter. Okay. Um, we need booking, right? So yep. it might be this winter. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It might be this winter. But no, we'll, we'll get to it sooner than later. And mm -hmm. like I said, we'll just kind of, as we've done a lot of work to the site, we're gonna let a year go by just to kind of see sure. how things settle out. But I think sometime by spring next year, yeah. we can hopefully get to this. What a nice addition that will be. It'll just be cool to have that secondary space. Yeah. I love the bridge idea going over yeah, too. Yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah, be cool. absolutely. So we fenced that all off and uh, we got that going. So, but let's get to the, let's get to the heart and yes. the meat of the issue, shall we? <laughs> now I know Lynn, you know, when we first met, one right. of her things was, hey, I love the design, but I'd like to make some changes. So right. I'm really curious to see, 
you know, how she did that three-piece bathroom. Yeah. And of course, she's such yeah. an expert at staging these and making it a comfortable space for people to be. Yeah, so I'm really curious to see how this looks absolutely. inside here. Absolutely. So you've added an extra deck space here just to yeah, walk we, up? Yeah, we did because we've got the sonal tubes, yep. right, coming up. And because we're in a flood zone, we wanted mm. to make sure we had plenty of elevation on them. Yeah. Obviously, with plenty of elevation, that means coming from where we are, we had to kind of buffer that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we kind of ran a secondary deck, which is actually cool because people kind of sit yeah, there and they sure. take their shoes off. You know, they can kind of do the pre-deck stuff, yes. right? And then they kind of climb in. But yeah, then we've got a little bit of the thicker gravel, so, you know, you're not bringing the pebbles yep. in and just kind of all that. But yeah, let's well cruise done. In. Let's cruise inside. First and foremost, we got to make sure the pets are taken care of, right? We got it's the, the little things. we got the little doggy bags that Lynn has made sure we're all set up. Yeah, that's a nice little touch. And then with that, we will cruise inside. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. It feels homey and just like, look at you've got everything. Yeah. Workspace. Yeah. So really what we try to do here, Corey, is take exactly what you guys had, had given us. Yep. Right. And try to figure out how could we incorporate as close to residential living with as few compromises as possible. And I think for us, what that really meant is we wanted to have sleeping capacity for not just two, but for four people. Yep. So we spent the extra money on a really good sleeper oh, sofa yeah. <clears throat> from room and board. Mm -hmm. So it comes out, there's no springs, there's nothing. Simple. You know, it, it comes out real nice and has its own full-size mattress inside. Oh. So, um, so you've got your kind of living area. And then if you can see here, we've got our TV, smart TVs. We've got our own Wi-Fi, So everything is very functional, mm -hmm. but then you can still have your little fire, which yeah. I think is a little different. I think your fireplace. Typically it would go there. Yeah. There. But you know what? I really like the idea of having the desk in front there. We did that so we could kind of have that tucked yeah. away. Someone can still work and not feel like they're in the middle yep. of a space, right? Because let's be honest, most people are going to bring the laptop and stuff right. to do some work if they're coming exactly. to relax. Exactly. And we're working with our partner drove mate to kind of do our desk setup so they're not in yet. But those are desks from Modern Dash. I think they're really nice how they just kind of sit up against the yeah. wall and you don't have legs. Looks you know. natural, like it was always meant to be there. Yeah. Exactly. Well done. Thank you. Uh, the tables, right? It's always a challenge. Yeah. So we put these little dining tables in mm -hmm. uh, from West Elm, and these are just, you know, good little guys that you can move around, swivel around. Yeah. But it still provides enough space to eat if you need to eat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, being able to just kind of watch the fire while you're watching TV. <laughs> and, perfect. You know, have everything going on. Um, I kind of wish we would have talked about this prior to, but it all worked out. But yeah, we cut countertops, we cut into these. Uh, I can't not be in professionals, right? It was a little scary cutting into them. Well, but you did a great job. My goodness. Got, yeah, we got full uh, induction cooktop <laughs> in here. So, you know, any of this cookware that we yes. put together, it all just kind of fires up right away and we're, very, we're good to go. So it all, induction's immediate, right? Yeah. So as soon as you stick it on there, it's, it's, it's fired. Uh, another thing we had to do is we cut some holes in your beautiful uh, <laughs> out of sight floating shelves so we can mount the microwave yeah if we thought about putting it here but just when you're yeah, right, talking about cut top, top space, space and just yeah. needing some space uh, you know we felt like we wanted to leave this open so we've got the microwave we've got a stove top we then we went with an espresso machine hmm. so we've got the full kind of coffee setup here you guys have literally thought of everything and uh, you know still having all the you know pots and pans and plates and cutting board that fits in the sink here so if you're not doing dishes yeah. and you've got a space, you can do the dishes here. And, you know, like I said, it was really about trying to let people know just because it's a tiny home doesn't mean that you can't still have all the opportunities That's available exactly to you it. in a residential home. Yeah. You know, and I know it's not for everyone, but for no. some people that are on the fence, you know, this is a great opportunity to kind of check out, you know, what you can do with it. Yeah. That. We'll go to the bathroom next. Okay. I'll just show you how we kind of tweaked your bathroom plan. I mean, look at all the space in here now. Was. Yeah. So here's the bathroom, the way we designed it. And yep. basically we decided to make it a full three piece bathroom. As in, I think we added the sink vanity here, Correct. which was not yeah. necessarily. Right. Cause normally this would be a hallway going here. We had that back glass where you could add a door. Exactly. I really like this. Like you have so much space. And if you recall, Lynn's concern is, for a guy, maybe it's not that big of a deal, right. but to be able to just walk out and exactly. walk around, kind of a hassle. Here right. you've got the three piece. Yeah, you that's. Take off your makeup. Right. And, <laughs> right. But just, you know, you're brushing your teeth yeah. and you have to not back, walk back around to the, the kitchen. And, you know, it's just kind of, it, it, it's its own privacy. And, mm -hmm. you know, we got the pocket door so we can just talk, you know, we're <laughs> finish talking business right. or whatever it is, right? 
And then we've mounted, uh, you know, some gear tile. We did a nice mm -hmm. kind of uh, body wash, shampoo, conditioner for short term rental. It's yeah. much easier to kind of refill them as you go. And yeah. You just have to, you know, do each one at a time. It's not so much waste. What do you think of the glass doors turned out with the hot yeah. stuff? Yeah. And that's the one thing I will say, Corey, is I have a fit and finish, and all the vendors you use to kind of complete these is super nice. Good. I mean, all the bathroom hardware turn out excellent well we don't want to use cheap right, right. cheap is not attractive right. right and these are not cheap to begin with and we don't want them to be no, cheap right exactly. and i get a lot of people that say how much did you pay and you know we share that number yeah. and it sounds like so much and then they walk inside and they see it Wait a and, minute. It, and it starts to become yeah. way more re understandable of why this isn't you know <laughs> ten thousand dollars right deal, it's not a right? shed just the glass alone is yes. thousands of dollars that's right? exactly it so speaking of glass, I've I been so looking excited. at this, my friend. You know what I'll do? I'm gonna leave you inside here. Okay. And I'm gonna let you push the button and I'm gonna have, basically, I can see myself here. We got a reflection, it's a mirror and it's more of a frost color. And then if you wanna hit that button, Corey, and then boom, I don't know how that looks on camera, but you can uh, that see that That is it comes a modern day miracle is what that is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I could, play, I could play with that all day. <laughs> yes. Oh my. So, yeah, obviously, we want some privacy at right. night. You don't right. want people looking in. Right. <laughs> like, okay, you got to tell me about this. So, what we really struggled with in understanding, you know, Tiny Space New for us is we just didn't want to clutter the, the yep. place, right? We really wanted to keep it minimalist. And again, compromises have to be made and there's places where you're gonna have to do certain things and not, but one thing we really wanted to try to do was cut back on the blind work if, as much it's as possible. They're ridiculous. Exactly, and it's, and it's not just the cost, but by the time you got a rod coming and you mm -hmm. got curtains and you're trying to kind of clean that desk area and the sentry area and all that stuff. Yeah. Basically, this wow. is what it is. So we can cut it exactly how you want it. We can send these raw sheets that, you know, we can, and it applies Fairly, I mean, it's a little extra step, but it's a yeah. lot like window tint. Sure. So it just, you know, you lube it up, get it on there. And uh, as long as you know how to do that part of it. Uh, but then the runs, you know, we still kind of experimented, but you can see for the most part, you have very few runs. No, no, so. And if we would have kind of done it from the factory and knew we would have, we could probably even have coordinated that to be even yeah. completely seamless, but even in the sense of the way it is now. And I think it, it turned out really cool. I would say so. I would just say our guests think it's the coolest thing. <laughs> you know, it's just, <laughs> okay. like, they, they don't, even at a high, they're not going to see smart glass. It was a good learning experience. That's an awesome so, upgrade. Yep. Then let's talk about your bed. A lot yeah. of people don't know. They always wonder what size bed it is. Is it queen? Is it full? Is it twin? Right? But uh, it's a California king size bed we got in there. You know, when we designed it, that was something that was super important to us. We want it to be a comfortable space, a place, mm -hmm. even if you're not sleeping, just a place to hang out, read a book. Right. And as you'll see, right, you have right. that, you know, you added the skylight, yep. opening skylight. We added the blind, which is nice. The blind, yeah. And that blind, that blind comes from Velux, which is the manufacturer of the windows. Yeah. So it, it's a, it slides up and down. It can open from both sides. It can slide all the way down, so slide cool. all the way up. And uh, as you know, your windows pop all the way open. You can watch the stars. I've yeah. had guests that have taken pictures of the stars. Oh. And you know, it just, it's, it's and a really- And then egress too, right? For safety exactly, concerns. Exactly, exactly. And then I don't know how much the camera's gonna be able to pick this up, but I've got about, Oh gosh, probably two and a half to three feet of space yeah. from the edge of the so you're mattress. Not climbing right on your mattress. And that's on a California King, which is the widest mattress yeah. that you can have up here. So um, we're going to work on some like safety rails or sure. just something just to give people a little extra peace mm -hmm. of mind. But I got to tell you, there's so much width up here that even in sleeping on the edge, I, I never felt like I'm, I'm gonna so roll happy off. to hear that because so. it's one thing to come up with a design that you right. feel is going to work. But now just hearing your confirmation that it is very practical yeah. and yeah. it does work like we intended it is yeah. wonderful. I think we will try to figure out some way we can make sure these are always on here on mm -hmm. the rail. I don't know if that's some kind of fabricating some kind of metal mm -hmm. to keep it on. Not been an issue at all. But you know, that's, that's probably the only thing that I'd like to try to figure out a little bit. But yeah. other than that, I mean, it, just in the fit and finish is just super nice, right? It all is that light, modern, airy yeah. feeling that, you know, we went with the lighter floor, the lighter planks on the on the flooring and it just, I think it came out super awesome. It, I cannot wait to come stay here with myself and my family. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. We'll take you outside. We'll show you kind of what we've done on the common area just to kind of make it, you know, 
And you know what, really what we wanted to do, Corey, is we just kind of wanted to take camping to the next yeah. level, right? We didn't want to lose the, we didn't want to just have tiny homes, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we kind of put in, you can see here, we put in chairs and a solo stove with a cooktop yep. on there. So everybody can kind of hang out, grill. And the spaces are far enough away, but close enough where there were, if you were with Sense a group of, community. of people, you could feel like you could hang out. Yep. And if you really kind of just wanted to live in your own space, your own you thing. can do that too. Uh, we did a little bit of artificial grass here just to kind of lighten it up a little yes. bit. We're going to bring some more plants and landscape mm -hmm. that'll follow at some point. But, you know, really just kind of want to give that elevated camping feel, right? Where you You've can done camp, that. but you can still take a nice hot shower. Yep. You can still. Uh, People want the luxuries. They far. say they want to rough it, but let's be honest, <laughs> at the end of the day, they still want their luxuries. Exactly, exactly. Well, let's go up. We'll say bye to Lynn. Okay. You did a wonderful job of putting it all together. Thank you. So, so that's it. Okay. Good job. Now we got to make some money. Yes. <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming along with us on this journey. On behalf of Lynn and I, right? We'll keep fighting our way through it. Yes. Hating and loving each other. <laughs> We'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. In the future, we're going to kind of go through some numbers. We're going to talk about what we've got to spend to get here, what we hope to make, and just kind of our projections. and. You know, just kind of how this whole thing works beyond the actual work works. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up and hope to see you on the other side. Peace.